All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadosh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is just going to be a quick video, man, saying to you Native Americans that you better wake up, man, and realize who you are, man, because on this video, on this comment section of this video, I'm seeing a whole bunch of Native Americans quoting, saying that they're Cherokee, saying that this, saying that that, right? And then they're saying, yeah, we've heard that our people are Israelites. They're, they're saying that I'm Guatemala, and they're saying, yeah, we've heard that our people are Israelites, but they say it, they'll, they'll be down to say it when they're applying it to some Book of Mormon, because that's associated with Esau, right? But if you can understand and you can accept that, you've, that you're an Israelite when an Edomite is saying it to you, then you better not be being a coon, right? You better be able to understand it when you're hearing it from your own people, man. From people that have also got brown skin like you, that have also suffered under the hands of these people that are, that are, that are trying to say that you're this, right? Because that's what it is in the world, man. People don't ever want to acknowledge it when dark-skinned people say something, man. And they always want to try and acknowledge it when a, when a, when a light-skinned person says it. But anyway, let's read this, man. When, in fact, when a pale-skinned person says it, man, let's be real. Right, but look at this. This is this video. And you can see the title. It's a decent video so far, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. The information that he's bringing out on the Native Americans and showing that they had artifacts and stuff like that. That had Hebrew in there. It's all good good knowledge, right? Right, which is proof of what we believe as Hebrew Israelites, that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. And anyone on the, that's a descendant of a male from their, on, on their father's side, man. Anyone that's a descendant of being an Israelite on their father's side, anyone that's got a, a, a Negro, Latino, or Native American father is an Israelite, man, regardless of what they end up looking like. And anyone that's got a Negro, Latino, or Native American father and granddad and great granddad and so on and so forth, they've got that, man. They, they, they're an Israelite. But look at this. This is on the same video. It says the name of God slash the creator, and it's showing... How people say, how people would say, um, how certain people believe the name to be in Hebrew, which none of these names, none of these names are really the correct name, right? But the closest one is that one there, Yahuwah, right? Which we say his, his name is Yahweh, but the fact that they even have that name there in the Hebrew language, the one that they try and claim, right, shows that we have the real name, man, because there's no use. In, in Hebrew There's no you sound like that in Hebrew man There's no there's no you like that The Hebrew alphabet goes And so lucky if I don't say it all correct But I'm going to try and remember what the Hebrew alphabet is It goes from what we believe anyway It goes A, Ba, Ga, Da, Ha, Wa, Za, Ka Ta, Ya, Ka, La, Ma, Na, Sa, I Pa, Ta, Za, Kwa, Ra, Sha, Tha That's how we That's how we say it man And excuse my accent it's not the best accent for for um breaking down languages or whatever, man, but that's what we believe the Hebrew alphabet is, right? So, which doesn't have a U sound in it. It doesn't have a U sound. So Yahawa would be the real name. But anyway, right, they've got their names there that you can see there. And then you can see the various different Native American languages that the ways that they call upon their Lord's name. And you can see that they match very closely. Right? You can see that they match very closely, man. Which is further proof that the Native Americans are also Israelites, along with the Latinos and along with the Negroes, man. Now, let's look in this comment section. Right? Let's look in this comment section, man. This one, this, here's a comment here from a year ago. It says, I am Western Cherokee, and my grandmother and many people in my town have said the Cherokees or within the Cherokees was a lost tribe of Israel. Now, it's funny how you'll see these kind of comments, right, on a video to relate it to that Esau is pushing out there. But you'd, I don't really be seeing these kind of videos on the bottom of a video that um, Apostle Taha or Apostle Gabar or Apostle Arayamlab or Apostle Rakar might do, man, right? Or any of the other elders. I don't really be seeing no Native Americans be commenting on them videos saying that they're Israelite. And I just find it disgusting that you Native Americans are such sellouts like this, man. Right, you're, you're, it seems to me like you're sellouts, man. Like you're on that same kind of Stefan from Django and Chain spirit, man. Like Samuel Jackson was on. You're on that same kind of stuff, man. You love, you love your oppressor the same way how the so-called black man that wants to be in captivity loves his oppressor, man. 
and it's very grimy, man. It's very weak, to be honest with you. When you 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 Native Americans are actually a warrior tribe within the, within the Israelites, and are supposed to be like war straight warriors, man. And you have got a warrior way, yet you've became weak, man. You've became weak and sold out ultimately because you're down to accept that you're an Israelite when these people are saying it, but you don't seem to be down to accept it when you're hearing about us saying it, man. You don't want to try and associate with yourself with us. And that's the whole reason why we ended up falling as a nation anyway, because you, you, your part and our part didn't want to join, man, and we was being wicked to each other. So Yahweh judged us both anyway and brought us into the same place to receive punishment anyway, which is the land of America. Let me go through some more, man. Let's see. Let me just try and find some of these comments because I found them earlier. I was able to see loads earlier with people just saying, yeah, I think it's true. Here's one. It says, here in Guatemala, we have a book written by a Lamanite Catholic priest in 1554 where it states that the indigenous people of Guatemala come from Israel, right? So he's down, they've heard this, this guy's heard this, right? So if he's heard this message, he's definitely heard that he's a Hebrew Israelite in the way that we say it to. But he's down to be hitting off a comment here. But how many comments do you reckon is left under the Hebrew Israelite videos, man? Where they're breaking down the Bible and saying that the wickedness that you've went through as a people, you're going to receive revenge for it, for, it, for what's happened to you, man. That's a hell of an old book, 1554. That's old, man, to be hearing that. So that's that, mean, that means you've been heard, but you just took it, you heard it and didn't, didn't think nothing of it after that, man. Now let me carry on reading, man. It says it is. In fact, you know what? I don't even need to carry on reading anymore, man. People can read the rest for it from for themselves if they want to read it. Let me carry on. It says this person says I'm Arawak, Taíno. There have been many ancient Hebrew artifacts discovered in Puerto Rico. Now, do 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 Hebrew Israelites say that Puerto Ricans are Native Americans? I mean, excuse me, that Puerto Ricans are Hebrew Israelites? Yes, we do. So people have heard us say it, but they're like, nah, what you, who are you to say it? What's your authority to say it? But then you're coming to find out that everybody else is also saying the same thing, man. So who's have, have, have Hebrew Israelites not just been telling the truth all the time and everybody else is now playing catch up? Obviously, that's what it is. Obviously, that's what it is, man. Let me carry on. It says, Arawak sounds like the Hebrew word Haruak which means spirit of God. <laughs> you see, I didn't even know that, man. And if that's true, well, that's a heavy point, man. That's a heavy point. Because I know that in the land of Jamaica, they have um, them, them so-called Taino Indians as well, man. <clears throat> Let me carry on. Let's see what other comments you can see in here. Let's see this comment. No, I'm not going to read that one. Don't know what they're talking about, ain't it? See, now them, now them other people start coming in, trying to come in their madness, man. But anyway, this was just a quick video, man. This was just a quick video to just show that the information's out there that you Native Americans are Israelites, but you're, it's like you're almost trying to not accept it, man. You're trying to not accept it and you're trying to hide it and you're trying to be like, nah, I ain't trying to hear that, man. But you've, if you've heard this message and you're prepared to comment on these comment sections, right, then that means that you've also heard the Hebrew Israelites saying these things too, man. You've heard them saying it too. And I'm going to end the lesson there, right? You Native Americans need to wake up, man, to your real heritage. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar, Kodash. Double understood the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. Shalom.